you're here with your spouse, whether it's one of those five-year milestones or not, go ahead and take the hand of your spouse. If your spouse isn't here, uh, that's okay. Um, if you want to, we'll have this on YouTube later. You can do this with your spouse if you want to or on your anniversary later this year. Um, and if you're, if you're single, just, just think about those who are married and, and we're gonna, just going to kind of celebrate and honor them uh, right now. So friends in Christ, on this Valentine's Day, we celebrate the pledges made a year or numbers of years ago and offer thanks to God for the many blessings that he showered on you. And we seek the Lord's continued gracious care. The union of husband and wife and heart, body, and mind is intended by God for the mutual joy, comfort, and help, and prosperity, and adversity. And when it is God's will for the nurture and raising of children and the knowledge and the love of the Lord. God himself instituted and blessed marriage as it gives us a picture of the very communion of Christ and his bride, the church. God established and blessed marriage and has promised to bless all who love and trust in him and who seek to give him their faithful worship and service. Ephesians 4, 31 through 33 says this, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. And I'd encourage husbands to take the hand of your spouse right now and repeat after me. I bless you. I, bless you. I thank you, I thank you. And, I and I promise to extend forgiveness to you. I wish you peace, I wish you peace. and I promise to hold you forever in my prayers. And wives, I'll ask you to do the same. Repeat after me. I bless you, I thank you, I thank you. and I promise to extend forgiveness to you. I wish you peace, and I promise to hold you forever in my prayers. Well, today as we celebrate anniversaries, but specifically those milestone anniversary couples um, that we highlighted, as a way of encouraging them uh, to continue to grow in love for God and for one another, and as a sign of our commitment as a church to foster <laughs> worship and discipleship, as lifestyles in our homes, marriages, lives, and families. We have a special uh, gift, a little tool that is available marked with your name on that table as you exit, or if you are uh, joining us at home or coming in person, we'll have a way to get that to you in the upcoming weeks ahead. So God's blessings as we pray together. We pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the joy and blessings that you have granted these marriages. Continue to send your blessing upon them. Grant them your grace that they may never cease to love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness. May their lives together be a witness to your love and forgiveness and their home a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus. Amen. Amen. And for those who are married, may God who has sustained and blessed you by his grace and your wedded love continue to grant his divine protection and blessing and cause your hearts to remain united in faithful love as long as you both shall live.